Alrighty. So I'm over here at a service call. An apartment build, uh, apartment complex out here. Rooftop unit. See condenser fans running. Nothing on compressor. Oh my. As you can see, looks to me that the um it's like the legs on the compressor. One of the uh legs of 220s is burnt up. Change the contactor. And we'll take it from there. Hopefully that's all it is, honestly, uh. see only one way to find out all right so I got my contactor here maybe a one and a half pole let's go ahead and get the sucker changed out it's probably because this this thing got weak here this little um I'm not sure if this is really designed to take the amount of current that that compressor is pulling through so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put compressor aside. I'm gonna actually put that inside of the um, screw lugs here. Get that out of the sun. Yeah, man. Fooled around and got a ticket today. I'll tell you some. Um, really crazy 45 and a 25 but wasn't even a school zone or anything it was like a proper main road but I guess because it was a jogging street they put it down at 25 so it was a pretty hard to tell um, speed violation so yeah they cited me so I gotta pay that fine. But um just part of driving, part of driving uh as much as we drive, I guess. I haven't gotten a ticket in about four years. A little over four years, so it's, it's just um just all depends on who you get. That sucks. Definitely a waste of money, but Got to take it, roll with the punches. Yeah, and like I said, I mean, my speeding tickets haven't been anything crazy. It's not like I'm doing 100 miles an hour in a you know, in a 35, 145, no, it's just been usually around 10, maybe 15, 12 over, something like that, so, the fact that he didn't give me a break, I'm kind of a little bit bummed about it, but, what are you going to do, right, <laughs> kind of sniffing and whining about it. Hot one out today, I'll tell you. Tell you what. Definitely a hot one. Caught me up on this rooftop, and I mean it's blinding. Didn't have any shades. I know anything. You need them for this type of uh 
this type of exposure because I mean it could be feels like it's doing damage it really does so I try to get up in the shade a little bit try to reduce it reduce the uh, exposure as much as possible Yeah, we'll see if we can figure out what caused that thing to actually I say it might have just been this got loose if that screw is not with this screw here it looks like it was pretty tight down in there <clears throat> and we'll see if it starts up compressor might just be shot you never know go ahead and check our lock rotor amps Upon start or sorry, in rush. It should be about should be about on uh, 10% plus or minus the lock rotor. Okay. What in the world? Just put that thing down. Okay, here we go. got 108 amps that sounds about sounds about right for a system this size so lock road amps is 112 so you're, you're definitely good within range and let's see it's with our constant run load amps are 12.2 I'm gonna go ahead and check our wattage and true power as well line is definitely beginning to start to condense We've got some got some cooling heat being removed there Oh yeah. Power factor 0 0.99, 2600 watts. Looks good. Here are the voltages. 208, essentially 209. Perfect. Let's go ahead and get our section line on here. that super heat so you can always tell when you've got I mean basically just it's freezing cold so 46 degrees yeah, you got a slight overcharge it's not hurting anything it's definitely within a good range sub cooling let's see what your sub cooling is put the door on System seems to be running very strong at this point. Pressures look good. Voltage looks good. Compressor's definitely drawing proper amp amperage. All right, gang. I'm about to get this ticket written up and uh. We'll be heading over to the next call here shortly. Crazy. Alright. So we'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching.